Hello everyone! Um, today a short tutorial on how to create a video background using Dreamweaver. Um, I've already set up the local root folder. It has two files in it, a BoardCam MP4, a BoardCam WebM. They're the same, just different formats but the same content. Um, they were both created using um, Adobe Media Encoder from a QuickTime movie. Um, and there is another tutorial on that on Canvas to show you how to compress your file correctly uh, and, and have it prepped. And then obviously it's in the local root folder. That is all we have. We see the first thing we need is an index file because this will be my new, my home page. So let's start there. Okay. Um, as with every initial um, website, web page, I'm going to go ahead and create um, a, a style sheet. You will need this. There is a selector for you to use that is on Canvas. We'll cut and paste that in a moment. But first we'll call this uh, video vg.css. Say OK. All right. And of course, with every new thing, we should have first set up a body tag. Um, and actually, let's do this. Let's do HTML, oops, HTML body. So we're setting two separate rules. That's not a descendant selector. There's a comma in there. So um, what we just want to say is we want my height and width to be 100%. So 100% and 100%. Remember, basically we're establishing the parent and the grandparent of any children we make. Um, that sounds weird when I say it like that, but you all know what I mean. Okay, and zero out the margins. Okay, now we're set. We can go ahead and insert um, an HTML element. We have our you know, basic styles are ready, we're ready for another selector, but we first we need to actually have the element, the HTML element. So um, under our insert menu, you will notice that under HTML, one of the options, we've been in here a lot, is HTML5 video. So we can just click on that. All right, now we don't see anything, we just see a space for a video. So um, what you want to do is just go to properties. So window properties. And as long as you have this video thing selected, you will see all the properties that you can set, including where we'll put the ID. Um, we're going to want this muted. We're going to want it to autoplay. We're going to want it to loop. I'm going to want to turn off the controls. If it's a background video, don't give them controls. And most importantly, we need to set the source. Um, we can use this point to file, or I can just type the name of the file in there. It's on the top level. If I use the point to file, it's a little weird on my machine. My arrow doesn't go to it. So watch the cursor, not the arrow. The arrow doesn't follow along. I want to put board cam MP4. So as long as it says board cam in MP4, and I'm going to give it an alt source, which is why I have the second video. So if for some reason the browser doesn't play that one, it'll play this other one. All right, that one didn't show up. So I can just go ahead and type that in if I want. keep me from having so either way and this is my webm file okay cool all right so yay no sound everything seems to be rolling um don't you don't want sound on a background video please uh, except for you know there's always an exception but for the most part no all right i'm going to keep this open cuz i'm going to have i'm going to add an id so we'll just move this off to the side so on um, Canvas, I already made a selector for y'all. Called it background video, VG video. All right, I'm going to copy that. I'm copying it to my clipboard right now, and I'll come back over here. And of course, it has to go on my external style sheet. It's a selector, so I just need my next available space. And I'll pop it in there. All right, so I have my selector. It says, look at these important qualities. It's a fixed position. It's set zero pixels off the right and zero pixels off the bottom. Remember, if you set some to fix, you always need to set a left or right and a top or bottom and a minimum width and minimum height of 100%. So it fills the screen. Okay. Now, it's not filling the screen yet because I actually haven't hooked the two up, right? I have the selector. I have the element. I need to make sure that um, my 
element, my video, is, has the proper ID selected with it, so I can actually do that right here. Now that I have it on my style sheet, it lets me pick it in my properties value, or I could have just typed in ID equals background video, just like this. That's all it added was that little thing. But notice, now it's 100%. If I to go ahead and preview this on device, which is probably appropriate now so I can save my files, and jump over to, there we go. That's what my background video will look like. Let's go ahead and do this at 100%. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Pretty nice skate ramp. I built every piece of that. Best thing I ever made, um, according to Quinn. All right, let's see. Where was I? I got distracted by the skateboard. <laughs> um, oh, this. so we're done. Basically, we have our background, but I want to show you some important things about actually adding, I'm going to close this, actually adding the content at this point. Right now we have one thing on our page, this is background video, and it's not a true, like, you know, every time I've said background image, we meant adding a background image via CSS. This is different. We did have to use CSS, of course, but it's not um, placed, the image isn't placed via, via CSS, it's an HTML element. So. Um, what does that mean in practice? Well, it just means there's some a few properties that you're going to want to note. This video is fixed, so we don't need to worry about the the um, the um, the page order. <coughs> it's taken out of the normal stacking order because it's fixed. So if we need to add something, like I'm going to put a logo right here in the center of the screen, we can add it up here. We can put it down here. It's not going to be a big deal. And we'll just go ahead and do that. We're going to add. Um, a section. Section. Okay, there we go. Took a second. I'm going to ID this as um, board logo, new CSS rule, put it on my style sheet, my external style sheet, say OK, um, make this block. Um, box, we're going to give it a width of 30%. percent to make this, I mean, eventually I'm going to put a responsive image inside of it that will be set to 100%, so it'll automatically, you know, fill the screen as I want it to, but it'll be responsive. <coughs> and for the margin, I'm going to uncheck the same for all, and I want a left margin of 35% because that will put my box in the center. So I'm 30% on the left. 30% in the middle, which is my logo, and then that would leave 35% on the right. right. That adds up to 100%. So we're good. We need to give a background color to this thing. I'm going to do black, but I'm going to make it transparent. So it'll really show up as a gray-ish color. Let's do it a little more quickly. <coughs> um, and I'm going to give it a temporary height in pixels. But we're going to take that off ultimately because we're just going to let the height of what, whatever content we have um, define it. Okay. And also, and this is super important, we want to set a position to relative. And we're also, you know, I'm going to go ahead and mention this now. The Z index is going to be important too because this background element fills up the whole screen. And so for our browser to understand where things exist in space, we're going to want to give this a z-index of like 50. And this is just a number, it's relative. The lower the number, the more in the background it is. So by giving this a high number like 50, this box should show up in front of our video. We could also, if this doesn't work, we should go to our video and set the z-index to a, a, a lower number, but by default it should be zero. Okay, so everything should be golden. Um, I will show you where to check this if you forget to set Here's the index. But I think we're good right now. I'm going to say OK. And OK. <clears throat> I clearly forgot to give that a top margin. But there's our box. Um, I'm glad because I wanted to remind myself to show you what we've got here. So there's our board logo. I'm going to give it a top margin, like I said, <clears throat> of about 20%. 
Oops, it's 200 pixels by 100%. So, oh my gosh, click it once, Jeff. There we go. Ooh, 200%, not good. 20%, better. Okay, there we go. Okay, we'll probably turn that up a little bit. Um, after we have the height in, like I don't want to mess with it too much right now because it's going to depend on the height. Um, we also want to put our, I'm just going to put the word logo in there for now. And we're going to scale that up bigger and make it white because it looks pretty hideous. Oh Lord, the computer is deciding to go really slow because I'm recording video at the same time. Okay, logo. Just the word logo. So I want to make sure I do not get... Oh Lord, so slow. There we go. There's the word logo. Let me go to my board logo. Um, Click the type thing. Oh, please don't stop. Please don't stop working. All right, uncheck show set. Go to type. And pick a color that's white. And a size. And the M's. It'll be there for now, but first I'm going to pick out the font family. And we'll go with um you see the ground. Okay. And I mean that's fine for now. I can bold it or whatever. I'm not actually gonna use type, I'm gonna replace this with an actual logo. I just wanted something in there for now till we swap till I actually have the logo done. Um, and we can go ahead and I'm going to set that to center. And now I can actually take off the width and height, or the height, not the width. All right. That way the box will just be whatever size I want. Okay, just to refresh, the important um, properties I set for this section right here, I added a z-index. If you don't have it added yet or forgot to add it, it's down here with your properties like float and clear. We didn't set any of those, but we did set the z-index value of 50. Again, it just seems to be a higher number than our background, which is zero. Our video background is a zero. Um, and we set position to relative. All right, that might be important. <clears throat> Let's do one last preview. See how this looks. Call it a wrap before my computer clunks out and my hard drive fills up. <clears throat> okay, let me know if you have any questions, just email me. Um, that is video backgrounds. I think we covered it all.